thank you, Minister, for that very, very clear response. And I think you will agree that our need to determine our own tax rate now is greater than ever, given that we stand to be probably the, mo the country most affected by Brexit. And it will indeed potentially have a disproportionate impact on Ireland when compared to the other EU states. I asked the question in the context of the new French president, who I congratulate uh, on his election, uh, Emmanuel Macron. But during the presidential election, he did signal out Ireland's corporation tax rate and said he believed that gaps between member states in terms of tax needed to be closed. And there have been other signals, uh, and maybe that was just mentioned during the course of, of, of an election campaign. But would you agree with me, Minister, that our neutrality, our, our right to set our own corporation tax and indeed other tax rates, and indeed the common travel area are red line issues for Ireland in the Brexit negotiations. I'd ask John Corley that Ireland's long standing policy of military neutrality is sufficiently safeguarded through our existing constitutional provisions and indeed through such issues as the protocol to the Lisbon Treaty, through our Defence Acts uh, and th through our, uh, our long term policy documents. Uh, I want to assure the House. The tax rates remain within the exclusive competence of member states, and all member states are free to set their own corporation tax rate as they see fit. Ireland's 12.5% rate has been, has been long-standing government policy, but remains the centrepiece of our competitive tax offering. As I said, the issue of Ireland's corporation tax rate was not raised with me or any of my officials during any of our engagement with EU partners on Brexit. During, during these engagements, uh, I have to acknowledge a, a very positive reception on the part of EU colleagues. I also acknowledge there has been speculation around the corporation tax plans of the UK post-Brexit. In this regard, it should be noted the UK's intention to reduce their corporation tax currently at 20, but to be reduced to 17 by 2020. That was announced well in advance uh, of, the, uh, of the Brexit vote. Uh, but from a, from a corporation tax perspective, uh, uh, I don't believe that Brexit will have any impact uh, on the UK's ability to set its own corporate tax rates, no more than it would have any adverse impact uh, or any impact at all on our, uh, our ability to set our own, uh, our own rate sure, of corporate tax. Final supplementary. Yeah, thank you, Minister. I'm, I'm somewhat surprised and I'm glad to hear that it hasn't been mentioned at all. And I'm wondering, have we mentioned it in the context of saying that these are areas that we do not intend to move with? We are very clearly and firmly on the European side of the, of the table in these negotiations. You've rightly mentioned that Britain uh, intend to reduce their corporation tax to 17% by 2020. And it's not just our corporation tax that obviously makes this country attractive for inward investment, uh, most importantly, our workforce and our educated workforce that we have here and the track record and reputation of, of, of Ireland indeed as a place to do business and to, um, and to employ people. But we can't be complacent in that regard. And I would ask you, Minister, to keep that on, at the, ver to the, the very forefront of your mind uh, post whatever your new boss does. I would uh, wish you well in whatever happens there. But I think that it is very important that Ireland don't take our eye off the ball, off the ball and that maybe that some of our more jealous European partners may not see this as an opportunity to squeeze what they would see as being some concessions for us, be that on neutrality, corporation tax or indeed the common travel area.